Yo guys, it's Footmaster here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I wanted to make an extra video on the Team of the Year warm-up series. As you guys know, I already made a short on my channel explaining what this is and when we could be seeing it. Well, it is Tuesday the 16th. We haven't seen any loading screens or anything teasing this, which we usually do. So, maybe there'll be one tonight, but I'm probably expecting it to come Wednesday, guys. Wednesday, it will be probably starting if we are going to get it. I think Wednesday will be a good time because Team of the Year kicks off on friday obviously with the attackers releasing first unless ea changed that already i've made videos explaining how team of the year works so go check those videos out on the channel and yeah make sure if you do enjoy hit the subscribe button and hit the like it it's really appreciated but getting straight into this team of the year warm-up series is basically a preparation period a few days before the promo for ea to basically drain your clubs and make you stock up on uh, packs but a lot of it is to distract you from the main event basically as you can see here this was a message we got last year and they released lots of puzzle upgrade sbcs objectives and they did they did give us a free 83 times three pack which was very nice but we did get lots of really good sbc packs and we're going to get those again this year so moving swiftly on we did also get lots of player sbcs including a flashback akadi this was obviously two years ago in fifa 22 but same thing applies to every year pretty much and yeah this card at the time was very cracked because he had a massive pace boost and dribbling boost and obviously links he was great so loads of people completed him i stayed away and yeah he drained a lot of people's clubs obviously then we did get this sar card who was actually quite overpowered so he was pretty decent and yeah he was probably worth it but this was one of the worst SBCs ever released. This was Gundawan's Moments SBC. I expect to maybe see a few Moments SBCs in this warm-up series. But he was so overpriced, it was absurd. He was like, I think it was six, seven hundred thousand coins, which is nuts. No one completed that card. But we have got some confirmed news for the warm-up series, guys. And these are Team of the Year packs coming now. I expect these to come in the warm-up series, not in the actual Team of the Year promo, because they wouldn't release these when team of the year impacts if that makes sense we have got a 583 plus pack which is defender attacker midfielders that's separate i'm guessing 583 plus attackers for example and they're gonna be a decent requirement guys make sure i know team of the weeks are expensive but if that upgrade goes the team of the week upgrade it's gonna be very bad if there's a team of the week requirement so make sure you stock up try to do as many of those as possible i think and also stock up on fodder because in this time they go flying up in price guys because everyone wants to do these packs to save to open to get maybe a team of the year which we know is not going to happen but you never know there's always a chance one percent even if that we've got a free 85 plus pack which is very nice for every position so you'd save this for when the positions are in packs so the attackers are normally first so that's probably the best time to open but the best time to open packs is when the full team goes in packs, but that's not really until like a week after the team of the year starts because you have to wait for every position to go in packs separately and then they release the full team 12th man honorable mentions after that and then icons follow that and the women's i'm not sure when they're gonna come maybe i think they're the same time as men's i'll put a screenshot up they're the same time so there's gonna be double the team of the years this year but it's still gonna be very difficult guys then we've got a 381 plus pack for the different positions they that shouldn't be much i don't think but the 85 plus one there may be a team of the week requirement in that and the 83 plus it's probably going to be an 83 rated team or something like maybe even more because these sbcs ea do not like do well with the requirements they always overprice it because they know that people are going to think they can pack team of the years then we've got men's women's uh, upgrade packs which is very nice that's going to be hype man it's going to be hype then we've obviously got this is a very helpful post. This is telling us how many gold rares there are per league because the upgrades we get, not those ones, we get other upgrades which are like league specific. So like a La Liga premium upgrade or something. And as you can see, these are the amount of rares in each league. So this is kind of telling you, like obviously if there's like say five team of the years from the League on League, French one league, that is going to be a great pack to craft, guys, because there's only 49 rares in it, which means it narrows your chances down to packing a team of the year. But on the other hand, if you look at the Premier League, it's not going to be a great one, even if there are a few team of the years from it. I know with League 1, there's not going to be as many, but it may be worth doing because the Premier League, there's so many gold rares that it's just every pack is probably going to be um, 
a non-special let's put it that way but that's a really nice poster so credit to the source we've also got zico and kafu coming in uh, team of the year i don't know if this will be a warm-up series or actual team of the year but if it's actual team of the year then he's going to be great to craft because kafu's arguably the best right luck in the game and zico is one of the best cams in the game five star five star crazy cars these two really really good spcs i think a lot of people will complete and then this is a great summary from ashi credit to these sources but this is very very good because they need to you need to keep watch of the meta in this time guys because a lot of market um prices will crash during this time because of panic because everyone thinks they're going to pack a team of the year they spend all their coins on packs whatever and then when they realize they haven't got a team of the year they'll buy back the cards and therefore the cards will have gone back up in price because everyone's going to be buying them back so make sure you're watching the high meta cards the cards that if you don't have a team of the year in your team you're still going to use like hands normal card r9 and even cards like walker like that because he's still going to be one of the best in his position and we've obviously got club stock that's a good tip there and daily login i forgot about that we may be getting a daily login in the warm-up series probably not in team of the year but we'll have to wait and see man that'll be very interesting i'm gonna put up on the screen now as well we have got team of the year evolutions as well confirmed ages ago we don't know what the requirements or upgrades are going to be, but that should be very, very nice. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Follow all my socials. Links are in the description. But it's been Footmaster, and I'm out. Peace out, guys.